it's Bobby aka Paginator and we have a new bookish subscription box today. I know what you guys are probably thinking, you don't need another book box, you can barely keep up with your TBR as it is. Not true, my TBR is kicking my butt, I'm not keeping up at all. <laughs> But I found out about this book box and it just seemed too enticing to not give it a try. So we're going to give it a go for a couple of months and see how we do. It is called Creepy Clubhouse and it is geared towards middle grade and young readers. And it's like creepy, spooky, fun things. I am a founding member of this book box. So in addition to the box, you're also going to get to see a mug that they sent me as like a thank you for being a founding member, which is kind of exciting. All right, it doesn't look like much now. You can kind of see some shapes here, but it's one of those where you have to put the hot water in. So I'm going to go run some hot water and come back and we'll take a look. Well, we found a little bobble. Um, this is really cute, but this is not the name that I asked for. <laughs> I asked for the name Paginator and this says Cassandra Higgins. So I'm going to go ahead and reach out to them and let them know that Cassandra Higgins didn't get her mug and I didn't get mine. That's sad, I was so excited to see Paginator on there. <sighs> Bummer, okay. I'm sure that they'll make it right, it, it's okay. For the box, here's a look at the top. It's creepyclubhouse.com is the website and they have some fun, creepy decorations. Ah, uh -huh. so inside the um, card envelope we have a card here that says micro terrors scary stories for kids definitely gonna look that up and see if it's something my students might want to see thank you for joining our creepy clubhouse adventure this month we're thrilled to take you on a journey beyond the stars with our alien encounters box dive into stories of close encounters and ufo sightings and let your imagination soar as you explore the mysteries of extraterrestrial trust real life we hope these themed books and items ignite your curiosity and inspire endless wonder. Remember, the truth is out there and it's waiting for you to discover. Stay curious and keep exploring the Creepy Clubhouse team. All right, and there's a little note that says I can uh, leave a review and get a discount on uh, items from their shop. Okay, we've got quite a bit of the crinkly bits, so I'm going to try to get rid of those. All right, we have this um, tube. You can build an alien with these little plus blocks and we have a beanie um i am not one of those cute girls with the long hair that looks darling in a beanie but we'll try this on just to see if it fits me yes it does so i can put this in my camera bag for football games in case it gets cold last friday at the football game i got sunburnt and heat exhaustion but it could be freezing cold the next game you just never know oh we've got a pin so there's this cute little blue pouch and then this alien guy it says believe yourself looks like we have a pack of stickers I'm not saying it was aliens but it was aliens and that one says not from around here and then we're going to go to this um, item, which I absolutely love. It's a tic-tac-toe alien game with alien heads and spaceships. It is wooden pieces, and it comes with this tote bag to carry it around so you don't lose your pieces. It is made by Birch House Living, and, I mean, it looks really, really well made. My nephew and I are going to have so much fun. He loves to play tic-tac-toe with me, my 8-year-old nephew. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We have a bookmark that says Roswell was a conspiracy. And on the back, it has some information about a website, the National UFO Reporting Center. I'll hold it up so you can see the website here. That is nuforc.org. So you can go learn about other sightings or report your own close encounter. We now have four books, four paperback books in this box. I am so excited. So two of them are going to be nonfiction, which I'm really excited about because my nonfiction section in my classroom is very small. Um, we have Mysterious UFOs and Aliens, and this is going to be great for my lower readers. We've got loads of pictures and good information. 
All of my students really love books that come from this series. Um, some are about events and phenomena like the alien abductions. Others are about historical figures like Abraham Lincoln. Some are current figures like Malala Yousafzai. And there's just all different kinds of nonfiction topics that these people do. These ones are also illustrated. So we've got pictures there. I mean, whether you're a high reader, low reader, in the middle reader, who doesn't love stumbling upon a picture while reading? <laughs> so it looks like we've got two fiction books as well. My teacher is an alien. My seventh graders are going to be excited for this one. Um, Bruce Coville is the author, and this one says, and you thought your teacher was weird. Susan Simmons can tell that her new substitute teacher is really strange, but she doesn't know how strange until she catches him peeling off his face and realizes that Mr. Smith is really an alien. At first, no one be will believe her except Peter Thompson, the class brain. When Peter and Susan discover Mr. Smith's horrible plans for their classmates, they know they have to act fast. Only they can get rid of their extraterrestrial visitor and save the rest of the sixth grade class from a fate worse than math tests. Oh, that sounds fun. And finally, we have Aliens on Vacation by Khalid Barrett-Smith. This sign says the intergalactic bed and breakfast. So is this a hotel for aliens? Let's see. Scrub isn't happy about having to spend the summer with his hippie grandmother in the middle of nowhere, Washington. When he arrives at her intergalactic bed and breakfast, he's not surprised by its 1960s meets Star Wars decor, but he is surprised by the weird-looking guests. It turns out that each room in the inn is po a portal, and his grandma is the gatekeeper, allowing aliens to, aliens to vacation on Earth. She desperately needs Scrub's help with disguising the tourists as humans. As if that weren't difficult enough, the town sheriff is already suspicious of Granny. One wrong move and Scrub could blow Grandma's cover, forcing the B&B &B to shut down forever. And when it comes to aliens, every move seems very wrong. That sounds fun. Cool. Well, I am really pleased. I, I'm super bummed about the mug. I am going to be reaching out to them straight away to let them know um, about the mistake. Hopefully, Cassandra Higgins has mine and it's just a swap between the two of us and not like every person. But um, yeah, I'll let you know eventually what happens with that. And uh, in the meantime, what do you guys think of this box? I'm really impressed. Now, again, being a teacher um, who enjoys reading middle grade and young reader books, as well as like having kids that need these kind of books, I'm very, very pleased um, with this. I think it is well worth the price I paid. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out creepyclubhouse.com and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.